Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In this video, we will discuss something about checkbox in Touch UI dialog box of AEM. In this page, you can see I have this component where we have a text is Delhi capital of India and I have created a dialog box for this component. So let me double click on it. Here you can see we have this checkbox. Let's go to the CXDE and see what I have done right now. I have created a component checkbox. In this checkbox.html, I have this text and, and I am reading a value from that checkbox in dialog box. So, and I have uh, the CQ dialog and this is the capital node. And here I have this checkbox field and the name is, is capital, uh, which I am reading here. And I have created a template, which is called demo template, which has a path of this demo page, page rendering component. And if you go to see the structure here we have this demo page where we have this parses and so here you can see we have this parses here and I have dragged and dropped this checkbox component over this parses component and here with this checkbox I want it that if I check it it should return me boolean true and if I uncheck it it should return me false so this is my scenario so let's see how it works if I check it and I click on OK, so it's it is by default on. It is not returning any boolean. It is neither returning true and nor false. So let's see what we can do to return the boolean from this checkbox. Let's go to the CXD. Let's go to the checkbox. Go to this node and and here add a property called value and give it a property true. Click on add and save it. Now go to the checkbox, double click over here. Now check this and click on OK. Here you can see it is running true. And uh, let's see what it does when I'm unchecking it. Uncheck it, click on OK. It's not returning anything here. But I want if I uncheck the checkbox, it should return false. So to achieve this, add one more property here. Add a property, uncheck value and here write on false and click on add. Now save it. Now go back to our page. Now open your dialog box. Click over here. Click on OK. It should return true. Very good. And now uncheck this checkbox and click on OK again. Now it is returning false. So, so these are the two properties that you have to use to to achieve the scenario of returning true and false. So by checking that checkbox, I'm getting true value and by unchecking, I'm getting false value. Yes. So this was the easiest way to achieve this scenario. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.